Now be honest, are you afraid of the sun? Before you go out into the direct sun, do you put on SPF sunscreen 450? Tell the truth, do you wear sunscreen even indoors because you believe that it's healthier to block all of the ultraviolet radiation from the sun? If you believe these things, then please watch this video until the end because I'm gonna shake up your paradigm a little bit. Uh, fact is the sun is good for human beings. Sun exposure is good for us in multiple proven ways and probably hundreds of other ways that we're not even aware of yet. I'm Dr. Ken Berry, a family physician with 20 years of clinical experience. And this video is gonna tell you just 10 benefits of sun exposure. Now, scientists know that animals have been using sunlight to produce vitamin D for at least 700 million years on this planet. It was known to doctors hundreds of years ago that the sun was very, very beneficial for certain infections, for wounds, and for many, many other things. Only in the last few decades have we turned from being sun worshipers into being sun avoiders right? We're sun hermits. We, we hide from the sun because we're afraid that sunlight on our skin and in our eyes is bad for our health. It became very fashionable a few decades ago for all dermatologists and for most doctors to recommend avoiding the sun as much as you possibly could. And during these few decades, we've had exploding epidemics of cancer, of metabolic disease, of autoimmune conditions, are these somehow linked to our avoidance of the sun? In my opinion, the answer to that is a resounding yes. There's actually ample research showing multiple benefits from getting routine sun exposure. Now we're all worried about skin cancer, but what if skin cancer is not caused by sun exposure? If you think about it, it kind of doesn't make sense, right? Human beings have played in the sun partially clothed or not clothed at all for the entire time we've been a species on this planet, about 250,000 years. And our ancestors, even before us for millions of years, have played in the sun all day, every day. But starting in the 1960s and 1970s, suddenly the sun is now bad for you? Think about that. How does that make any sense? Is it possible that our diet changed in the 60s and 70s and 80s? And that's what's led to the epidemic of skin cancer and all the other things that the sun is blamed for. Maybe it has nothing to do with sun exposure whatsoever. Now, let's jump into these 10 benefits. And keep in mind, uh, obviously the sun makes vitamin D. We, we know our skin does that. Uh, then we know it makes nitric oxide. And there are probably many, many other things that the sun does for us. But for the last few decades, it's been very unfashionable and frowned upon for researchers to look for positive benefits to sun exposure. But even despite that bias, there's many, many research studies that I've linked to in the show notes down below that will help you get over your sun phobia. There's actually pretty darn good research that shows that your all-cause mortality, so your risk of dying from any cause, actually goes down as your sun exposure goes up. I've linked to that one in the show notes too. Now let's jump into our list. Number one, sun exposure improves your mental health. There's adequate research that shows that depression, seasonal depression, uh, seasonal uh, affective disorder, anxiety, and even panic attacks all improve with increasing sun exposure. Being out in sunlight for quite a bit of time each day actually raises serotonin levels in your brain and also raises dopamine levels in your brain. These are two of the main players in deciding whether you're depressed or not, whether you're anxious or not, whether your seasonal mood is good or not. So that's how, that's how getting sun exposure helps with depression and other mood disorders is because it tweaks your serotonin and your dopamine in the right direction. So it's possible that millions of people are taking mood altering prescription medications when all they need to do is get more sunlight. Now, all of these 10 are gonna be kind of explosive like, like that one, 
but the last one is going to really blow you away. Next on the list is that sun exposure increases your bone strength. Now, we know that our skin uses the ultraviolet radiation from the sun plus cholesterol in your blood stream and in your skin to make vitamin D. And definitely vitamin D is related to increased bone strength. But I don't think that's all the story. I think the sun has many other methods of increasing your bone strength. Bone strength is different from bone density. Bone density is just uh, measures the density of your bone. But what we actually want, you and I, is we wanna have strong bones that don't break, right? When we, when we fall down or when we step wrong, we don't wanna break a hip or break an ankle just because of that minor trauma. Getting more sunlight will protect you from these fractures. Next on the list that sun exposure does for you is it improves your sleep quality. If you go for a 30 minute walk in the morning sun, that's going to reset your circadian rhythm. We are diurnal mammals. We are, our, our biology is intimately related to the day and night cycle on planet Earth. And so when you go for that morning sun and you, you morning walk and you get morning sun for 30 minutes, not only are you meditating, you're getting a little exercise, but also you're setting your clock so that when it comes time for bedtime, you actually are ready to go to sleep. Your body knows it's time to go to sleep. And I talk about that in another video right here that'll pop up. So walking around in the sun at any time of day without sunglasses. Yeah, there's actually research that shows that wearing sunglasses uh, can actually raise your melatonin level during the daylight hours, which is not what you want. You want to lower melatonin during the day and raise serotonin and dopamine and other things. Next on the list is that getting sun exposure daily actually, actually decreases your risk of multiple different kinds of cancer. I suspect that it decreases your risk of all cancers, but right now we have research showing that it decreases your risk of breast cancer, colon cancer, endometrial cancer, and wait for it, skin cancer. Yeah, there's actually a good study that shows that getting routine sun will decrease your risk of developing melanoma. What? Next on my list is that getting routine sun exposure will actually improve your metabolic health. There's research that shows that routine sun exposure will decrease your risk of metabolic syndrome, therefore decreasing your risk of type 2 diabetes, reducing your risk of obesity, and many other metabolic issues. Next on the list, I like this one. This is a goodie. So, a woman who's pregnant getting routine sun exposure during her pregnancy, that actually leads to taller, healthier offspring. Yeah, you can actually adjust the height, the final height of your child by getting routine sun exposure during your pregnancy. And then also for infants, there is ample research showing that an, an infant who gets routine sun exposure, and I know a lot of parents, you're like freaking out, right? But our, our son, Beckett, who's nine months old now, he gets some sunlight every day. He's developing the cutest little tan you've ever seen. Now we're gonna go out of our way to make sure he never gets a sunburn because that actually can increase your risk of skin aging and skin cancer. But he's gonna get some sunlight every day because I want him to grow up to be a tall, beautiful, muscular man. And there's no ifs, ands, or buts. Getting sun exposure while your baby's in the womb and then your baby getting sun exposure early in life absolutely is going to increase their final height. The next two uh, things on this list are kind of related. The next is routine sun exposure is going to improve your immune function. Now, as I said earlier, doctors have known for hundreds of years that the sun, sunlight is really, really hard on bacteria, on viruses, and on fungi. And so for, for decades, for hundreds of years, doctors have been sending people with tuberculosis and, and typhoid and other things to very high sun exposure parts of whatever country they live in. They knew that sunlight helped these infectious diseases. Uh, many hospitals use ultraviolet light to keep down bacterial and viral counts. Uh, one of the main uh, tools against, if you've got a toenail fungus, is getting your toes expo exposed to sunlight every day. And I've got a video about toenail fungus that'll pop up right there. There's no doubt about this. This is not even open for debate. Sunlight improves your immunity, not only by fighting 
the bacteria, viruses, and fungi that want to infect you, but also it strengthens your innate immune system and helps you fight off all infections, including viral infections, just by getting daily sun exposure. Next on this list is that there's, there's great evidence showing that routine sun exposure decreases your risk of developing autoimmune conditions and also decreases the severity of existing autoimmune conditions. So this ranges from multiple sclerosis to type one diabetes to psoriasis. There's tons of, of research showing that routine sun exposure prevents psoriasis from ever coming up, or if you already have it, it makes it up to 80 or 90% better just by getting routine sun exposure. Next on the list is that routine sun exposure actually improves wound healing. Yeah, so not only does it do this by improving your metabolic syndrome, if you have any, because any kind of insulin resistance is gonna slow down your wound healing, but it also increases nitric oxide in the skin. That's gonna help the wound heal. It's gonna increase HGH and other wound healing hormones in the skin. And also it's gonna increase your vitamin D levels in the skin, which also help with wound healing. Finally on this list, routine sun exposure lowers your blood pressure. So for the millions of people out there suffering from hypertension or high blood pressure, having to take one or two or three pills every day to try to keep their blood pressure in check, getting out in the sun for 30 minutes a day can lower your systolic, systolic blood pressure by up to 10 points. That's huge. That means you're gonna to have to stop one or two of those pills that you're taking for hypertension. Now, there are many, many more benefits to getting routine sun exposure. And I predict as it becomes fashionable again to believe that there are actually benefits from being in the sun, all kinds of probably ex existing research has been done, but just not published because it wasn't cool in medical circles to talk about benefits of sun ex exposure. That's gonna start coming up and start being published, but also new research studies are gonna be undertaken. And we're gonna find out that the sun does all kinds of things to help human beings have optimal health. If you haven't already done so, please take a quick second and click the subscribe button and the little bell button right beside it so that every time I have a controversial yet helpful video like this, you'll be one of the very first people to know. Also, if you'd like to become part of Team Barry and help me promote optimal health to human beings all around the planet, click on my Patreon link. There's a little link in the show notes right down there. It's a super quick sign up. You can throw a buck or two my way and also have access to lots of behind the scenes stuff. This is Dr. Barry. I'll see you next time.